What's up, guys? It's Mike, but most of you know of me as Onslaught. That's my Xbox Live Gamer Tag, and I have another gameplay commentary breakdown video thing for you guys. Um, I'm actually thinking about putting these into like some type of series or something, but I'll talk about that later. So my class setup: I'm running an FAL Silence to have an AA12 with I think Grip as my secondary. I have Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro as my perks. Um, I was a huge fan of the G3 and Call of Duty 4, so naturally the FAL is kind of the closest transitioning weapon in this game, so, so I enjoy it also. Um, first things first, whenever you're rushing this building in the beginning of a round, be really careful about coming into here. The three areas that are green, you can see the other team coming into this building. The red area there is the part of the window behind the generator that you can't see people coming into. If they hop over that wall, you, you're not going to know that they're there unless you, I have a headset, so I was able to hear that guy. Um, if you don't have a headset, be really careful rushing that be building in the beginning. Um, and just keep an eye out for, for the other team being there. Because they can get there almost just as quick as you can. Um, the FAL is, is perfect for reasons like that right there. Uh, being an assault rifle, I can accurately fire shots across the map and, and support kills or get assists for kills or, or kill and finish guys on the other team. Um, and the AA-12 is perfect for this right here. As uh, FPS uh, Russia would say, I mean, these are just baby buffalo here that just come to this thing. So, um, but that's all I really use shotguns for. Um, I mean, I'm not one of the, I don't, I mean, this is the only shotgun, honestly, that I use. It's my favorite shotgun. I've tried the others, like the Spaz and the M10. It's just, I don't really find myself using them as much. I mean, I'm going to use a shotgun in a tight corridor, and uh, and that's about it. Um so I picked up my kill streaks here, and uh, probably now is a, a good time to talk about strategy for uh, for planting these uh, these bombs. Um, typically, you want to get A first, and you want to get A first for for a couple reasons. Look at our spawns here. We're the green spawn on uh, offense. They're the red spawn. Look how close the A arm is to their spawn. So obviously, they're going to be able to get to that A. A arm a lot quicker than B. So that's the first reason that, that you want to try to get the hardest one out of the way, which which I feel is A. Um, the second reason is if you plant B, this the highlighted areas there in the light green are all areas of they're all higher areas than the plant where you can cover that arm. At the A arm, it's pretty much all on the same level playing field. And you can all really cover from a height advantage from that warehouse in the blue. So it's it's a little tougher to to really control the the A um, the A plant there. So I'm, I'm listening to my teammates. I haven't called in my Harriers because I'm, I'm asking them if they're diffusing or arming or what, what, they're, what they're doing over there and nobody really said anything. Um, so I kind of choked. If I had called in a little sooner, we could have stopped them from disarming A, but, but it's okay. We have a, a strong team. The team we're playing is really not a strong team. So, um, and, and let me know what you guys think about this. The few videos I've put up so far have been pretty much dominating performances. I mean, I know... I don't know. Typically, I like watching close games. I mean, I would rather see somebody go, I don't know, 20 and 10 and just win a lot of really close battles, do a lot of, I mean, help the team a lot, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Then somebody go into like, like a ground war, never have the other team shoot at them and go like 102 or something. Like that for me is just, I don't know. I know this is all personal preference, but it... it from my view, I like seeing close games or, or either interesting games that really kind of show good tactics and stuff. So, But that's just my personal preference. So we planted A now, which is typically what you want to plant first. Um, but I actually caught in my chopper gunner too late. You can see it spawned way out of the map. So by the they had time from the time I laid down to, with my little laptop to call in my chopper. Um, by the time I had laid down to call it in, they got to the map, they had already disarmed it. So uh, that was that was kind of my fault. I should have been aware and called it in a little sooner. But And against a better team, that could have been like... Because if you're playing a strong team, it, it honestly is really tough to, to plan A and to hold A. Um, and against a stronger team, me not calling in that chopper gunner on time could have uh, prevented us from, from winning the round. But uh, So we planted B now. Like I said, B is the easier plant because... Position-wise, we can control it easier. So we planted it now, and, and it's pr pretty much a time extension, so we can get A kind of comfortably. Um, you can see Jaws over there. He's uh, he's planted A, so now I'm going to stay in this warehouse. Um, one because I have a height advantage, and I'm going to try to to cover as as much of as much of the arm site as I can. We have a lot of other guys that are kind of out in the field, so I think it's okay for me to kind of sit back here. 
look at the viewpoints I can see from here. The red dot to the left is actually a spawn point. If we're not in there, they will spawn there. The two smaller dots are a stair and a doorway that they can come up to that platform. Um, the center, center red dot is the biggest kind of flow of traffic where the other team will be coming from. And the half red dot is like where they could be coming from from the side. So I can see a ton of possible positions where the other team could be coming from from this side but I need to be in this window right here if I move over to this window that I'm at now I'm more vulnerable and susceptible to that and as soon as I saw the kill cam and saw the guy with the M16 and the red dot I knew what had happened um, this map is kinda like a washed out map I mean you can look at everything's pretty much white and, and, and the other team actually has white camo so it was hard for me to realize how I died at first. Typically I just zoom right through kill cams. Um, but the uh, but I was curious as to how I died and when looking at it again and watching this video I saw that he just kind of poked his head around the corner and because of his camouflage and the way this map is um, rendered or um, designed I, I could, couldn't have seen him very easily and he was able to just put a shot a good solid shot in me and, and kill me so uh be careful when you're in those windows especially for something like that to happen people with assault rifles will i mean i would have done the same thing if somebody if i was on defense and somebody on the other team was up in this building i would have done the same thing i would have got at a pretty good range with my assault rifle and uh tried to pick him off so um this spot, you notice I went here earlier and had some bad shots with the FAL, but uh, this is really a good spot to, to stop off. Like I said, this right here is the major flow of traffic from their spawn. This is where the majority of their team is going to be coming from. So, uh, and they're not going to spawn to the left of me, so I don't have to worry about that because we're far enough into their spawn there that uh, I really don't even need to pay attention to that. The only way they could have got me there was like they did. If I had bad shots and they killed me, um, or if they came kind of from the middle of the map, but I had uh, I knew my teammates were kind of watching the middle of the map in the warehouse door there, so uh, I didn't have to worry about it. I had confidence in my team and could just watch um, that one area. So first round um, didn't go as I mean as cleanly as we would have liked it to with planning A first and then B, but nonetheless we uh, we win the round pretty handily. So now we're going to go uh, on to defense. Um, and if you see my other videos, you know I like to have the position advantage on the map. So typically that uh, that entails having a height advantage. So the first thing naturally I'm going to do really on any game type on this map when I spawn on this side is going to go to these roofs. There's a lot of uh, these air conditioning units or RTUs, whatever they are up here. Um, they, they provide a lot of coverage uh, for protection and the viewpoints up here are, are great. Um, you're going to see there's a lot of area, open area here that I can see, but if I was to crouch, the people from these areas would have a really hard time killing me. If they were to crouch to lay down to, uh, to avoid fire, I could still see them pretty easily. And also I have this box to the right here, so that allows me to, uh, to get some cover if needed. But uh, I have the advantage of being able to crouch, and uh, they really don't to, to avoid fire. So that, I mean, that's the basic principle of, of height advantage, is um, being able to minimize your, the visible portion of your body to, to the other team. Um, and it, nobody really came that side, so, but typically a lot of guys will get through. We had a bunch of air support in the beginning of, of this round built up from the, from the first round, so nobody got through. So I'm um, changing positions here. Jaws um, had killed a guy over here, and then another guy got him, but there's, there's actually two guys here. And uh, Jaws actually calls him out for me. But uh, because I, I think because I had a silenced weapon here, that guy didn't kill me. Um, he was above me the whole time when I first killed that guy coming out of the warehouse. And I think if I would have had like a unsilenced weapon, he would have hurt me. I would have shown up on the radar, and uh, he probably would have. He definitely would have had the the position advantage on me in a, in a firefight because him having that height in that room up there. So uh, so I think the silencer really really saved me there, and teamwork allowed us to to actually kill him. So. Um, so now, once again, I'm on their roofs. Height advantage, like I said, is, is key, especially on this map. Um, and I'm trying to get something going like I had the first round, but, but you can see it doesn't work out. They uh, got, I think it was an M10, that was a Spaz, I think. But I die a couple more times here from, from shotguns. So, uh, but, but that's pretty much it. We're, uh, what is there left here? 45 seconds or something? And uh, we're pretty much going to focus on B because we know they're focusing on B because B is the easier arm. So their team's going to pretty much just, I mean, look at it. They're pretty much just rushing B, trying to get B to, to extend the time here. And uh, that's all we have to focus on either uh, also. So, um, so that's pretty much it for the gameplay. Um, like I was saying about the series things, and I don't even know, I notice it's popular for a lot of the, the bigger YouTube guys to, to do these kind of series things, whether it's like a, a weapon analysis series or maybe it's a, 
I don't know, like a specific game type series or something, but uh, I was wondering if it would be beneficial for me to maybe put all these breakdown kind of games into like a series. I don't know, because I don't know if this is all I'm going to be posting. I mean, I may post other types of videos in the future, but uh, just throwing that out there, let me know uh, what you guys think. Um, you guys have been great, by the way, so far. I mean, I've gotten, I mean, I've gotten nothing but good feedback. I mean, I honestly haven't had any real bad critiques on any of my stuff, which which is surprising, uh, but I'm glad you guys enjoy it. So uh, I've got uh, got some big stuff coming up um, with some big name YouTube guys here in the future So uh, to get my name out there, so hopefully all that will go well. Um, and I just really want to thank you guys for, for all the support you guys have given, and uh, feel free to comment on uh, anything you guys see, and uh, I'll uh, keep pushing out some good content for you guys. So uh, rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever it is you do, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later, and see you on Xbox Live.